Well, when the European Union Naval Force first arrived in the area, it was clear that uh, some sort of map, mapping system was required, and a map was drawn up by the British Hydrographic Office, which produced effectively uh, between Somalia and Yemen an internationally recognised transit corridor, the IRTC, and that's where most of the attacks take place. So what the ships have been doing with other member states and also with uh, other nationalities is patrolling this particularly dangerous piece of water. Now, what we've found in the last few months is that the pirates, realising that the number of, although the number of attacks has remained about the same, the number of successful attacks has gone down. And I'm pleased to say that's probably due to the coalition effort against piracy. Uh, they've gone down from about one in three successful attacks to one in nine. And the pirates, therefore, I believe, are becoming slightly desperate, which is why they're pushing out into mid-ocean. 700 miles off the coast was the last uh, Chinese bulk carrier that was hijacked uh, uh, just last week. And now they, they seem to be resorting to taking innocent uh, uh, sailors who are on the high seas with a, with a unit of not great high value. How do you tackle these bad guys when you come across them? Well, there's a number of ways. If we uh, find them actually attacking a ship, we can take uh, very forceful measures against them. But more often than not, uh, we have good intelligence, we know where they operate, and we've found them in the past, we've arrested them, and we've either prosecuted them within the member state country or sent them to Kenya. And the European Union has an agreement with Kenya to transfer pirates to that country. I'm pleased to say that other member states in the area are doing the same. They're, they're helping us tackle a local problem locally by taking these pirates and prosecuting them. Much more of a challenge when it's a hostage situation, though, isn't it? We saw what happened when President Sarkozy suggested that um, they should be released um, three hostages by force, three French hostages. Well, that's up to the independent state to make that decision, and I think every single uh, hijacking is different. Uh, sometimes it's, it could be feasible to take force against individuals and try to release them, and at other times be highly dangerous. I think generally it's highly dangerous. We mustn't forget that a ship is just a piece of metal floating on the ocean. The people on board are the most important. Lives are important. Mm. Can this situation be resolved or just managed? Um, clearly, the situation at sea uh, is managed. Uh, it's been made quite clear by a number of fairly senior ranking officers that this problem at, at sea, we, we'll, we'll manage it, but the problem really needs to be resolved on land, and that, by, that means we're having a stable government, and the European Union are pouring millions into helping stabilise that government. Um, but basically at sea, we'll, we'll fight the pirates wherever they are, and the European Union will do everything they can to bring stability to that country. And I know other countries are looking at the same situation to bring stability to Somalia, which is where piracy will really be resolved. In the meantime, our thoughts, of course, very much with Mr and Mrs Chandler this afternoon. Um, what, what will be happening? They are, they, are, they are indeed. What will be happening in the waters? And, sorry, say again? What will be happening in the waters at uh, the moment? The, I'm sorry. In the waters at the moment, there are a number of ships, EU Naval Force, NATO, uh, CMF, many. Uh, in fact, there's nine EU Naval, Naval Force ships operating in the area at the moment. Um, we've also got maritime patrol aircraft. Now, of course, this is one small yacht that's put out a distress call. Uh, normal search and rescue operations, some units would be diverted, but the, the distress call was, was received four days ago, 50 miles west of the Seychelles. If we followed her track uh, towards Tanzania, which is where she said she'd be going, that's one way we could go. If we followed the track towards Haradere, which is the pirate stronghold, then overall you're looking at searching an area of about 1,000 square miles. It's a, a huge area, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. But uh, um, I do have an update, and the, the update is that just before I came on air, which is why I was slightly delayed, um, we've, uh, one of our ships, the EU Naval Force ships, helicopters, has flown across a yacht about 200 miles from Haradere. This yacht is towing two small skiffs, and uh, yet it's dark in the area, sea state is slight, um, but uh, all I can say is I don't want to raise anybody's hopes, but at least it's the first sighting of a yacht that the EU, EU NAVFOR has had so far.